Matt, and I'm here to tell you about nanoparticles for drug delivery. But first, what's a nanoparticle? A nanoparticle is exactly what it sounds like. It's a small particle about 1 to 100 nanometers in size. And just to give you an idea, if this is a piece of human hair, it's about 100,000 times smaller than the tip right there. So it's pretty small. What we're going to try and do is use these nanoparticles to cure cancer. But what's cancer exactly? Well, cancer is when you have one cancer cell and it divides to form another cancer cell and another and another and pretty soon this happens uncontrollably and this is what forms tumors inside our body. And these are bad and we want to get rid of them. Two ways doctors are trying to do this now is through chemotherapy and radiation therapy. But these aren't the most optimal because these methods also attack healthy cells in your body in addition to the cancerous one. And this is what causes you to lose your hair. So how are these nanoparticles going to work? We're going to take our nanoparticle and fill it with our cancer drug right there. And then we're going to attach a targeting ligand to the surface of the nanoparticle. And I'll explain how these work in just a bit. Once we do this, the nanoparticle is injected right into the bloodstream. Here's what it looks like. Above and below the bloodstream on the left side are all the healthy cells. These are the good guys, which we want to keep alive. The nanoparticle can attack them because of this tight junction blood vessel, which prevents our nanoparticle from reaching them. On the right hand side here are all the cancer cells, which we want to attack. And how do we do this? Well, all these cancer cells have a receptor ligand on their surface and are surrounded by leaky blood vessels. This is good because it allows our nanoparticle to have access to these cancer cells as it makes its way through the bloodstream. So, as the nanoparticle nears these cancer cells, the targeting ligand on its surface can bind to the receptor ligand on the surface of the cancer cell and cross the leaky barrier to eventually kill it. This is the big thing that separates treatment with nanoparticles from chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Because of all this, we're going to reduce the amount of healthy cells being attacked as well as increase the amount of cancer cells that die. And all of this is going to make for a happier, healthier you. May cancer po siya. Kasi nagkaroon siya dito ng bukol. Pagkatapos bumaba na dito hanggang umalat na yata siyang lang. So yung nandun na po sa probinsya, nag-undergo po siya ng ano, chemo. Pagkatapos siguro, sa reaksyon siguro sa gamot, talagang dumaan talaga na wala siya ng boses. Dahil siguro, oo, oh, kasi mahirap talaga ilang ano kasi parang stage 4 na po yung cancer niya. Di sabi na dito, padalhin kayo natin si Rita doon din maski isa na lang ka cream na ganyan para masubukan talaga natin kung gaano kaganda ang product. So bumili si Pitong ng isang ganyan, binigyan yung mga laser, pinadala ko doon. Di, nang inapply yung cream na yun, Maniwala kay sa akin hindi. Within one week, nakapagsalita ang kapatid ko ulit. Wow. Napakaganda ang product na Thermax. Yun naman sa anak ko, kasi may anak kasi kami nga, nag-undergo ng dialysis twice a week. Kasi pag ang isa pa lang tao nga nagdadaya, naglilis ang ating blood cell. Kumbaga, kasi taas na itong creatinine. Ganun. So may tendency talaga nga, ang tao pala, pag mababa ang ating blood cell, hindi tayo masyado nakakatulog. So, dati, nasa probinsya kami, kaya nire-reflex ng asawa ko. Ngayon, ginagamitan na po ni Pito ng yung ganyang Fermax, napakaganda na po ang kanyang tulog. At saka yung pong, yung bitawang ano niya, yung morning habit niya, dati ang hirap niya dumumi. Dahil nga siguro, sa, may problema na siya sa iyong internal organ, nang ginamita namin yan, every morning talaga, nagre-release na siya. Di katulad noon na, pinapainom pa namin ng gamot. Ngayon, hindi na po. Dahil sa Permax, hindi naman talaga totally pa nasolusyonan ang problema ng pamilya ko, pero nakakatulong ng malaki. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Ibali, ano, i-share ko lang po yung result ng, actually po, marami na pong testimonies na na-encounter po since ginawa ko itong Fermax last September. Yung pinaka great achievement ko dito sa Fermax is yung mother-in-law ko. <laughs> yung mother-in-law ko kasi nag-suffer siya ng thyroid niya almost 10 years na. Pag pumunta siya dito sa Manila, lagi namin yung pinadala sa hospital para i-mag-check yung P3 and P4. 
by the way, isa po akong nurse. Uh, bale, ang dami ko pong natutulungan mga may sakit dahil dito sa Sula. Yung pianan ko po last two weeks, tumawag sa sakit. Ang T3 and T4 niya for now is normal. Within 10 years po, opo. So, napakasaya ko nung nalaman ko kasi 10 years ng tinis niyo. Kasi pag once may thyroid ka, the number one affected is your heart. Tapos yung rest pa na tuloy. So, this time po, napaka-thankful po ako sa nagiging gusto. <laughs> Yun po. September. October. <laughs> Gracias. 